My name is Rafid Hindo, and I'm a partner at Bonhomme Hospitality. I would like to think, you know, one of our success stories has been creating something unique every time. Um, we try not to do, uh, to replicate or do anything that has been, and has been done. And for that, you have to have all the pieces, whether it be music, lighting, design, uh, food, beverage, service, all of those little pieces kind of come together. A lot of time you're almost setting up, uh, it's like a theater, like a production. So during the day, it's the nitty gritty, it's the little details uh, that bring the show together. And then once, once the restaurant opens or the bar, then it becomes, it's, it's showtime. People you know, are excited to come. They're, you know, they're, the reason why they're coming to you is they want to have uh, a good time and, and want to enjoy themselves. To be successful in this business, I think it's a combination of being uh, you know, optimistic and also a pessimist, where you kind of, there's always opportunities that you know, present themselves and never be afraid of following those. I'm a big believer that it's in life, you know, some people are born knowing what they want to do, and that's amazing. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't have that. First job I had that was not, did not involve uh, me working for myself was at University of Chicago. Um, that was right after college. One of the hardest lessons in, in life has been switching, you know, uh, industries, and this would probably be the third one that I've done in my life, uh, has always been the hardest, it's the learning curve. It's the most expensive one. It's the most taxing, physically, mentally. I think I've learned, I, I'm hoping this will be, you know, there's not, not another, a fourth industry that I'll get into, but it's just, you kind of, you learn to have to adapt faster. And, you know, you have to have a big picture. The best advice, I, you know, to give myself when I was 18 again, would be don't think about, you know, sometimes we spend a lot of time on the drawing board trying to plan, and it's always good to plan and kind of have a, a, a kind of a structure. But sometimes it's just easier and it's better to just do the thing. Because if it's gonna fail, you'll know early enough that this is not the right track, and then you know how to pivot. Everyone wants to open their restaurant or everyone wants to open a bar. And, uh, and getting to the stage that, you know, getting to that, it's, it's not an easy thing. Uh, I know it, it sounds like fun, it sounds, it's great, uh, but it's, it's, it, it, takes, it takes a lot of work to get to it. I learned that even in hospitality where I'd have people that work as a bartender or as a server and they want to be a manager. And once they do start managing and the roles and responsibilities that come with it, you see them kind of not wanting to do that. And some people just are not cut out for that and prefer to be, you know, working more of a nine to five and something more structured. It's almost when the word entrepreneur comes out of someone's mouth, it's usually a scary thing because it means you're doing something that is unique and something that you believe strongly in. And most likely you're going to have multiple failures before it works. It's not rosy. It's not, you know, it's not easy. That's the whole point of being an entrepreneur.